Hello students, welcome back to Colorbox for Painting 1. This is part 4. We are going to be coming back to our painting. This is where we left it off at the end of day 1. And now we're going to come back and kind of touch up all the color and try and get some details. I'm going to apologize right off the bat because I cannot load my palette view, um, that video keeps failing. So you're just going to be able to see the um, painting portion of this. So we're going to start off with yellow. And I'm just going to kind of cycle through the different colors. You're going to see me work on the blue. You're going to see me work on the red, bringing up the white, showing more reflection in between stuff. Um, this is sped up a little bit more than three times speed just because it's long. It took about an hour. Um, and really we just want to have you be able to see what does it look like to kind of push your painting a little bit farther after it's dry. A lot of this is kind of somewhere in between kind of scrubbing and velatura. It's kind of like making those colors brighter. If you remember last time. I started with a light um, red glaze or imprimatura underneath. And when I did that, a lot of things blended with the red. So now we want to make things not blend with the red. And to do that, we're kind of painting fresh color on top. Some of the stuff that's there last time shows through. But a lot of stuff we're going to start to kind of paint over and change a little bit, add a little extra notes of color, places where we can really push the color and make it show up brighter. That's really what we're trying to do. We're not only trying to paint in color, we're trying to make our painting very bright and colorful. So I'll have this ready for class on Thursday. Um, this took, like again, right around an hour and uh, sorry for not seeing the palette, but most of the time I'm mostly just using my colors straight. Um, a lot of the colors are very basic and very bright. Um, one of the colors you don't see as much that I am using is the blue oxide, kind of mixing in for some of my shadows. I don't normally use that color, but because I had used it before, I kind of continued to use it for some of my dark shadows. Um, bringing up the blue, getting some of those areas so that they look brighter. Looks more like the still life that I'm looking at on the left there. Um, this takes quite a while to go through. I'm not going to go through and narrate the whole thing because I think you've heard what I've said. For the most part, I'm kind of putting in some extra bright notes all over. Um, and then I'm going to go and try and fill in the other colors around it, and then go back on top and put in some details. So rather than sit here and talk to you the entire time, I'm just going to go ahead, bring in a little bit of background music, and you can kind of watch me paint. So we'll see you next time for our palette project, Unit 7.
zoom in view of this let you see some of the colors some of the reflected lights especially the reds popping into things a little bit of yellow a little bit of blue and we'll see you next time